Hi everyone, today is Wednesday, August 15th, and um, I'm actually going to give you a sample of um, a black feminist um, reading. Um, for example, this is a text, it's called Sisters of the Yam. I'm just showing you what it looks like, and it's actually um, by Bell Hooks. And um, the way black feminism works is that it works as a kind of dictionary. And if there's something that um, you're not sure about, it's uh, a really good way to actually become a reference source. So, um, for example, there's been some comments around, um, you know, family values and, you know, connecting back to black and, you know, um, some way of empowering the black community. So, um, in addition to my um, spiritual reflections, um, one of the things that helps to facilitate that process is actually reading black feminism. And you actually have to feel the stuff in order to write it. Um, and if you actually do see stuff where, for example, it's speaking about, um, you know, how to empower black, but uh, not from a black perspective, then that's stuff that you just simply ignore. Um, I just wanted to actually read this one passage um, with respect to um, connecting with um, black family. And um, one of the passages actually that I like to um, uh, come back to is actually in this uh, text, uh, chapter 12, it's called Touching the Earth, uh, page 135. And uh, the edition that I'm using is uh, just uh, uh, South End Press Classics. Okay, so I said 135, so... There's a really nice quote, actually. And it says, um, When we love the earth, we are able to love ourselves more fully. I believe this. The ancestors taught me it was so. As a child, I loved plain and dirt in that rich Kentucky soil that was a source of life. Before I understood anything about the pain and exploitation of the southern system of sharecropping, I understood that grown-up black folk loved the land. I could stand with my grandfather, Daddy Jerry, and look out at fields of growing vegetables, tomatoes, corn, collards, and know that this was his handiwork. I could see the look of pride on his face as I expressed wonder and awe at the magic of growing things. I knew that my grandmother Baba's backyard garden would yield beans, sweet potatoes, cabbage, and yellow squash, that she too would walk with pride among the rows and rows of growing vegetables, showing us what the earth will give when tended lovingly. And you know, when I read a passage like that, I'm like, wow, that's pretty, um, that's pretty uh, substantial because one of the questions that I have is why exactly are we concentrated in these so-called things called urban um, ghettos and um, there's nothing wrong with uh, communal living but one of the things that we certainly question is um, ways to connect back to black and um, you know black feminism um, this is a really good text um, this is one example of it, and what it does, it actually um, helps to put things into a perspective um, to sort of direct us into ways to um, look at empowerment strategies, and, um, you know, for me, I actually um, love this stuff because, um, you know, it, it, um, it works as sort of like a tool, uh, like a screwdriver or pliers, or it's, I have a toolbox of stuff, so I'll certainly show you some of the text that I have, but, um, you know, it's, uh, very good for, example, people who want to try and understand, okay, what's going on in the black community, you know, what are some of the issues, you know, um, why do certain black folks speak with poetry, and how can I better understand that? So a text like this is one text to try and understand much better, and also much better in the sense of how to be more respectful to the black community. So just, um, 
you know, sharing this with you, and, um, you know, I'd like to hear your thoughts about what um, you're getting from, for example, this particular text, Sisters of the Yam. Um, what I plan to do is I plan to do uh, some more book readings and, um, you know, like to hear your feedback. So uh, consider this um, book reading of Sisters of the Yam, um, just a quote from it, and um, after you read the text, what are, your, what are some of your thoughts about it?